This is Connie Mason. It is March the 2nd, 2011, and I'm here with Kat Meyer Lewis, and we're going to be talking today about uh, many things. And Kat Meyer, thank you for coming here today. Uh, uh, I want you on that. Now, you had to ask, and I'll answer the best we can. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, uh, tell me uh, tell me your birth date. Birthday, August 2, 18. August 2, 18. That makes me 90. Three come over. You'll be ninety three. Oh my sick gosh! If I live. That is wonderful. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know why you wouldn't, because you look great. I, I'm a, a one I'm less than four generation. Mm. I, I'm talking about four of my father's side, mm -hmm. and immediate household. I don't mean a great grandchild. Right. Immediate household. Immediate family. Immediate I'm, family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and like first good. Who, who, who were Who were your mom and dad? What were their my names? Fa my father named James Lewis, mm -hmm. James Howard. Mm -hmm. And where was he born? 1873. Where? Shackleford. Oh, Shackleford. My my mother come for the Willis, Williston man. Uh, and what I was her? Should have, I think about the fourth down one of his fourth his son. She married a Reuben F. Willis. Uh, no, 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 no. And he was the man that come from, I forgot the boy's, his father's name, but I think he was about the fourth generation. And his wife was Elizabeth. Now, when you get that Elizabeth, his wife, now you got, I just got, you go back and there's a bunch of royals comes in there. Oh, the Marmaduke Royal people? Marmaduke Royal. Mm hmm. Had two sons. Mama, uh, 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 Ross, <laughs> Ross, 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 Ross B. and John. Now, Mama Duke has some, uh, about four daughters, and one of them is named Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Now, when John, his son, married, he supposed to have eight children, but I don't see no Elizabeth listed on his. Mm -hmm. Now, the Mormon crowd, I meant to them, they were, blah, 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 blah. she said, I, I've been saying all the time that Elizabeth, my mother crowd, that's your mother, Mama Duke, daughter. Mm -hmm. She said, no, it was her, his son, John, daughter, but it don't show any names there. Mm -hmm. So, you can take it either way. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your mama's name? My mother was named Elizabeth. And Elizabeth? Yeah. I mean, I mean, Royal? No, my mother was a my Let me My see, mother was a widow. Uh, my grandmother, Angeline, she's the one that was a daughter that my, uh, I'll tell you about the, uh, uh, should I ever get out? My mind's going to stick it. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I just named his name. Uh, well, what else? Right. Well, let's let's uh, change gears a little bit. Uh, Instead of talking about. Uh, 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 anyway, anyway, how she, she, my grandmother, my grandfather was Isaac Willis. Oh, Isaac Van Willis? No, not Van. No. Uh, he, he's my, that was he's the my, lighthouse he, keeper. He's out of town. Okay. My, uh, you see, a thing about them witnesses there, that Isaac, and, and, um, the fellow, uh, Reuben F. Both had the same father. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, my grandmother, she wanted to talk about, it. it's kind of close by her, but she married Isaac, really. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, so, so with your with your dad being born on Shackleford, what did he do over there? Fishman. Uh, he was a fishman. fishman. That's what he knew how to do. Yeah. Do. And of course, now you, you know the history when that time began to erode and people began to move over. She he come over here in the late eight, oh, just before the turn of the century, and settled up on the West End Island side. Mm -hmm. okay. Did the uh, did the storm? Have anything to do with making him come over? Oh, yeah, the erosion over there. Uh, the erosion? Uh, you, know, you know, the Diamond City, I only had his name about 10 years. 
Only was only named about ten years. Yeah, oh, John know. Royal wasn't named it. John Royal would be my great 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 grandfather. Quarter at the Mormon crowd. He's the one that lit the light first time in that new lighthouse. In the new lighthouse. Yeah. Oh, okay. 59. Okay. He, he done. Yeah, I think he had a son that was assistant there. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. I believe he might have shot it more. Yeah. I traced him right on down uh, that. Uh, John Royal and shot at Warhead and and, 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 and uh, kind of Ben Royal the doctor mm -hmm. and he, was some, he, he was tied up Ben Royal uh, uh, this man was Ben Royal's great grandfather and my great and my grandfather so they were did your did your daddy ever talk about what it was to live over there on Shackerford how it was yeah, yeah, yeah. I see how when I grew up people then they, we knew the rich over there. It seemed like they didn't, if they, if they didn't want the information like we got, I could have got a book wrote. He knew everybody, everything. Mm -hmm. But they had it hard there. It was a hard life. Oh, yeah, he told me. He says, honey, said him, how did only heat to have a fireplace? A fireplace. Cook, keep warm. He says, how did they just throw together? He said, they have winters and they have boards over the winter. They, I don't see how many. I look over there. I go down to the cemetery and look over there. And I can be like that, call them blowing the wind. If they got away from that, I only had to go by a row boat or a sailboat or uh, isolated. It was isolated, they, yeah. They, they led a hard life. So there were no windows. Yeah, yeah. I had heard that uh, there wasn't even like chest of drawers or anything like that, that they had baskets on the wall. Is that, do you, do you remember anything like that? They had baskets attached to the walls to put their socks and stuff in. You probably did. Yeah, well, I guess they they lived hard. They raised, but most of them see that most of them had a little garden, mm -hmm. and they raised a potato, like collard green with sweet potato, probably the main crop, but other things, you know. Mm -hmm. So sweet potatoes and collard greens and uh, uh, <laughs> well, that's all you and need with the hog fishing. Fish fish and <laughs> so they got plenty of protein in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. They helped it. They were healthy. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, and they all have big families and midwife. How do you stand it in women? Okay. Five or six kids there and the fireplace warm and scrubbing on a washboard, cooking. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and all the clothes in there was cotton. Mm -hmm. I can remember my mother's day mm -hmm. for the uh, expensive clothes coming on. Mm -hmm. She wiped clothes there and on 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 and Lord, did they suffer? Yeah, they suffered. They suffered. Well, listen. Um. Uh. So you, where were you born? Huh? Where were you born? I was born on Harker's Island. Yeah. You were born on Harker's Island. Yeah, yeah. See, my father married twice. Mm -hmm. His first wife was uh, uh, it's the divine Guppy. He got about Stacy Guppy. My father married Stacy's sister. First time. Oh. Okay. Her name was Ollie. Okay. And he. Uh, and his older and his my father's older brother married all his sister, Mary Francis. Oh, okay. And well, then, what know, happened to him? Uh, uh, Ollie, uh, she, she they got married. Uh, uh, I think Ollie was born in '74. Uh, I think my uh, they lived right close to where my father had moved from the Muddy Point down to Well Creek, Martha, uh, the Vine Land, Sam Winters Land, the Vine Lands, all he won. So, so say that again, D uh, Divine Guthrie and Sam Windsor's. Yeah, they all are, you, I mean, a little creek separated them. One people call it Divine's Lamp, one called called Sam Winters Lamp. Oh, some of them call Sam Winters. Well, Sam, there was Sam Winters there. But uh -huh. I think a little creek separated them. Mr. Uh, Divine, he lived right now. And Divine Guthrie's he, he was a, He was a preacher and, a, and, and an undertaker everything. Right, right. And right. he had them uh, boys, you know, there was Stacy and uh, Luther and, and uh, William Henry. And John and had them two girls, Mary Francis and Ollie, my wife named Ollie, and she had a, a, a little girl in the eight, uh, 1890s. They got married by 94, I believe it was. And she had a little girl about 97, her name was Daisy. She knew be a year old, she died. Mm. Well, it was tough. Then, then she had another little girl. That little girl lived. Now, up here, uh, they used to Salter and Louis Salter and Penny and Owen, that crowd. 
That was her mother. She did. Then the third child came, a little boy. His kids were down there one time when pregnant. And he, little bit of a year old, he dies. And 1905, that come, she was pregnant again. And I come to another little boy, and they named him Johnny after the first Johnny. Mm -hmm. Now that Johnny now, you know, Sean K, my little Al, mm -hmm. and Faye Gillikin, mm -hmm. and Johnny Lane, and Denny, that was her daddy. So he was my, and, and uh, he, was, he was born in, in February 1905, and his mother died 27th of July. He was five months so never saw his mother. Mm. And in nineteen uh, uh, three, um, three, nineteen three, and nineteen five, my my mother, mm -hmm. her first little girl, was born uh, maybe a couple of days, she died. And then she had a bunch of boys: the Theodore, they came James, they came Burgess, they come my sister, which is the mother told me O'Neill, oh, uh, JD in that crowd. Mm -hmm. Then, then I come along, and then my younger brother Dudley, and Mama died in uh, forty nine. She's on forty nine years old. She died. Papa had bad luck with two wives. His first wife was ten. Mama was twenty. He had on forty nine years with two wives. But my mother, right in that middle of that depression, my mother died. Do Do they know what caused her death? Yeah, but Ollie, I, I think Ollie, the worst I could be. Able to, uh, she must have had a heart problem too because probably told me the day she died. Say so you got off, you go to Bowie and go by self skip. Go by self skip, yeah. And Pa, he, her mother, she was sick on the bed then, and she bed and now she needed medicine. And Pa finally went down to the shore and was getting in a sailboat to go get the boat and get some medicine. Mm -hmm. And his mother, her mother was standing there, and she come over the hill down to the shoreland, hollering, Jimmy, 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 come, something happened to Ollie. She did. Mm -hmm. So she might have mm -hmm. quit. Now, my mother had a heart problem years before she died. She called it, they called it in the fluttering heart. Fluttering heart. Okay. And it's a fibrillation. I got the same thing. Right. Right. But you got we but, got you got a pacemaker, don't you? See, no, I got a pacemaker. No? I got a pill. Mine gets out of rhythm. But I take a pill twice a day and got it on girl. But that's the same thing, my mother. And she raised that way and she went. I remember mean, going to the doctor with her. Oh man, Josh Davis or both of them. Josh both. Davis, that was yeah. the doctor's name? Yeah, no, I never mm -hmm. But anyway, she's out there to her brother's house in July. It was in July uh 32. She, she had a brother laid out there on this road. And she had a car attack and they got her back home, put her to bed. There used to be a doctor in Boulder named Hyde, Dr. Hyde. Dr. Hyde, really? <laughs> Climbed back there. And then he come over and looked at her. Well, see the thing about the infant, them days, they didn't know how to operate hard. Mm -hmm. They didn't have no medicine to take it. And they, they did the best they could with what they had. But it wasn't good in that. Right. They learned more in the last 25 years about the heart and how it worked. And it had 500 years before. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. But anyway, she lay down in her bed. Five, uh, she, she, he stuck, he struck her one Wednesday night and the following Wednesday morning. She, about five quarter mother passed on. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the things I remember talking to you about was uh, Yopon T. Yeah. Uh, tell me, tell me who, uh, tell me about my, my mother, my mother on, uh, she had two brothers and there was, there was two boys and three girls. Mm -hmm. One of them was named Martha, Martha Ann. Mm -hmm. And, uh, she never married. And she had another, uh, daughter was young, the youngest of the crowd. Her name was Dora. And she died in 1923. And I'm five years old when she died. I went up to the old home and I to the cattle of the guy in there. I followed him out to the cemetery. Everybody brought home my old 
family cemetery. And did you know, like 15 years ago, I went down there and that erosion started actually right from I went down there one morning. I went right down. I knew right where she buried. I went down there and laid her frame her, her, her remains, skeleton right in there, in that bank. And Friday late, told her, I went and got her. So, then, so, so now wait a minute. Now she was buried on Shackleford. No, no, Hawkers Island. Hawkers on, Island. On, on the mother's side, on, on Hawkers Island. And the erosion, huh? The erosion yeah. took yeah, her yeah, grave yeah. out. When, when, uh, when they buried her there, right that shoreline was a hundred feet out there. She buried. She, she buried, buried up in the woods, mm-hmm. and it buried. It went through the woods, and then you come out to the open shore. Then you had a migrate. They had nets spread from the shore way out there. Everybody was gone. Everybody's gone a hundred feet. Now, where, where was this cemetery on Hawkins Island? It's up on the West End Island. I call it Dandelion Cemetery. And that's, oh, that, where, that's the one where the Maxwells have their... Uh, yes, right, Maxwell's crowd there. You go a little reeds right over there, white fence. That's where my crowd is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that same Ross Water bird up there. I saw him when I was a boy. I went down that, on that shoreline, that, that graveyard, big history at Rossby Royal. He was put there in 1846. Mm-hmm. He was John Royal brother and Robert Duke's son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I often wondered where Ben and Reuben married his daughter. I went there one day and when it, that rose, and they went down and put a rock pot in it and that crowd he did it took his remains and reburned him a high rent and the headstone's still there. Mm-hmm. Now, I always wondered, I said, I know where my grand and I said, they were old birthday, and I had to take all of them up, and I caught them up in the field. I remember my grandfather, grandmother, and two aunts. I took out of them, I was down behind that rock pile, mm-hmm. sweating, and I, picking up the booms. Mm-hmm. And that, uh, this little boy, the <laughs> Jerry Fireclaw, you ever heard? No. <laughs> He's one of my always... Jerry Faircloth? Yeah, always looking for the gold mine. I see. And he says he he said his father was an Indian. And one day, right up, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, on, yeah. On that curb there, that guy got a store. was right back in yonder, that great old big house there, man. I thought, that's where my cemetery right up there. I went up there and he had got it. There were people come from Florida. He got that kind of boat load, had a big powwow. And I'll be down there. Find him rock pile, a sweater dripping off me, getting, getting that bones out, uh, rebirth him. And when he come up there, one of the girls involved, she come prancing. I said, why don't you come out and join us? I said, I ain't got no time, no such fools. But anyway. Oh, but we were talking about Yopon. My, 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 my mother's sister, the oldest one, mocked the aunt, never married. She used to make that all the time. That's where I learned how to. Now, now tell me how she did it because uh, go, uh, your point was wild around here. It's all over the island. First, it's uh, the, the normal tree grows right like this, but she know there's two kinds of kind with berries and plain. He said the berries are bitter. Don't mess with that one. Mm-hmm. So I, she'd go there and get the shred like this, and then she'd go home there. She, she had a little. Troll and she'd take the, 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 the smaller land, chop them up, chop, 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 chop. Then she had a big pot. She'd throw it out, build a fire, and she had a big paddle. She'd keep rolling it until it got a light brown. That's to get the moisture out of it. Dry it like tea leaves. It's got a little green leaves. Mm-hmm. But she didn't pick the leaves off. She no, put no, the no, whole. No, no, no. She, uh, she, she, she take them and she chop the thing. The she little chopped. tiny twig was right in it. Mm-hmm. The little See, tiny limbs. Boil it, you throw it in anything. Boil it, and you strain it off and catch everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I used to have a do that. Yeah, that's right. And and it was a big uh, kettle, kind of like one of those black uh, black pot. Now, the thing what about it? Uh. She died in 48. I was still in service then. I was in New York, say, up in Long Island. And I'd come home about once a year. After I come home, retired hired in 59. I got kind of sentimental. I got to so say, I wonder if I, my sister was living there. 
I asked one, now that was Sister Toby, Sister uh, Toby, that cried, J.D. Uh, Excuse me a minute, let me turn this off. Sorry. Was, uh, so, I, she stayed with my father and my sister until she died. She's in our old home in the pen. She lived over there. And that's where she was. But she used to, I remember she stayed there a bit. And I asked her, I said, Sister, I said, Little Bill? I said, Sissy. We oh, always call her Sissy. Oh, it's just a warm pot. And see, them, them uh, that crowd in there where their father they had, between me and you, he was an alcoholic. Mm. And they fired bad. Mm hmm. I mean, bad. Mm. She sold that part, Owen, with Owen Fulford. She sold it to o Owen Fulford? Owen Fulford, he was kind of everything he saw. Yeah. She said, I sold that to Owen Fulford for $5. Five dollars. She needed money to bet, mm. to be honest. I went down on a part, and I said, the part out there. Now, the part that I helped her with when I was a boy was one of the big, but she got, she got that uh, storekeeper, the guy who owns his daddy run a store, he ordered her that big pot. It's that big. Mm. For the and, and she cook it outside or on the stove? I, I was doing a fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. I said, Owen, that pot you want me to I said, I said, now, Owen, I, I don't need a pot. It's, it's the history of the pot. Mm -hmm. It's who owned it. Mm -hmm. I said, I want that pot. Mm -hmm. I'll pay for it. But I brought a pump home, a big pump. I took out of a well up on it. He knew I had it. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, so I'll tell you what I do. He said, you got a big pump? I said, yeah. He said, I'll trade you for the pump. I said, bargain. I get in and I brought a pot, and the pot sitting in my back on the side of the house. It's still there? Yeah. And she bought that in. She died in 48, and she bought the pot a couple of three years before she died. Oh, I'm wondering if you would let me uh, go f take a photograph of that pot. Yeah, yeah. you know where I live? Uh, no, sir, I don't. When you go to, when you go to back down the road, when you come to Fort, uh, Messy Church, you make a right. Okay. And you keep running, and that road runs right on back up here. I'm, and from the west end, I'm the third house back. Okay. And you can't make a great house sitting up on a hill. Okay, yeah. And I got a, a, a Montauk lighthouse, not in the yard, that's where the light, I was saying to serve. Uh -huh. And I got the pot sitting out on the edge of the big pot. I uh -huh. mean, nice now, pot. do you have the paddle, too, that she used? I, I, I couldn't find, ever find the paddle. Oh. But she had a little paper that long she could. About, about, uh... They, they, she had all them kids, honey, they didn't About know. 24 inches long or yeah, longer? About like that, about it, yeah, a little blade on it. Uh, she keep rolling, you know. Mm -hmm. Keep but, rolling and rolling. But them, them kids, they, they, grow, they didn't know there was bad in that. Yeah. Well, they, got, they still got that pot. Oh, I'd love to take a picture of that pot. Yeah, I yeah. wish that pot could talk. <laughs> yeah, I I, uh, I keep it painted black. Mm -hmm. I drill a little hole in the bottom of it so the water wouldn't stand in the and rust in it. Mm -hmm. It's that thick. Mm. Yeah. Well, let me, let's let's talk and about. She used, she used to sell. She sold that. Oh man, there used to be a man in uh, more uh, Belford had a group from him named Charlie Hill, Charles yeah, Hill. Yeah. And uh, little on Front Street. Mm -hmm. Do you remember his story? I don't remember his story, yeah, but I've heard about it. Honey, when I, mean, I grew up Belford Front Street, you met everybody went on Saturday, and you can meet anybody in the county on that Front Street. How about that? We had Charlie Hill and a whole bunch of Pinter, uh, Bill Drugstore, Mappet Cafe, and two banks. Which cafe was that now? Huh? What, what was the cafe name? Uh, uh, Mappy. Mappy's Cafe. Mappy? Yeah, Mappy's Cafe. Oh. And then that Bill Drugstore. Bill's Drugstore, and yeah. And yeah. Charlie, uh, Charlie Hill and then a two foot man down on one of them old crow's bank. He, he sold feed and I won't forget that his name. And we went right on down to the corner. There's, there's two driveway. Right Sam Lipton. Mm -hmm. and Do you remember the uh, and the, the cotton the, gin? Do you remember the uh, I think it was Sanders Cotton down at the west end of uh, uh, no, Front Street. I I didn't uh, see on Booker honey. See, we, we only went there like on a Saturday and, and the bid now, outside back on the. Uh, I don't know about the business out there. I do okay. know about it. I remember seeing the order of shed factory down there on the waterfront. Yeah. But I I do know that they would have two banks there. 
and and farther on down the waterfront, they show a great and Paul out from Davidson Shore had a mm-hmm. big machine shop there, and he had a theater right across the road from it. Mm-hmm. Had a little boy got executed that one night. Oh, really? I hadn't heard that at the theater, at Graydon Paul's Theater. There was a little boy had, uh, Did uh, he die? It's, it's, it's down there now, I see. About where the It's mass- just about where that workshop is. Uh, Carter Sharp. Boat yeah, shop. The boat, the boat shop. shop. The boat mm-hmm. shop. The boat so right, he had it right, and right across the street from there, he had a theater. Yep. And a sit on, and some little boy underneath there one night went in and war. Anyway, killed him. It killed him. I hadn't heard that before. I, oh, yeah. I heard it. And that went to pot, and that there, uh, I eventually went to House and Paul and, uh, and Graydon. Graydon, there was a together there. Now, Graydon had a place right down the creek there on the side there. Yeah, Happy Landing. Yeah. 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 Happy Landing. Uh, yeah. Okay. He was a character, wasn't he? Yeah, he did. Well, I'll tell you what, he'll tell you anything when you hear. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, listen, let's talk a little bit about your career. What did you, now, now. Honey, when I ain't come a long time very hard. I went to school on an island, an old school house in the field there where, where the little lighthouse chapel is now. That sits way back and I opened the field right in front there. That's where the school, I got you seen the picture of old island school. I got went home. Mm-hmm. I swear to man. For school, my first, my first tuition, first grade from Black Mountain named Belk. Belk? Or no, last name was Belk. B E L K? They didn't have no place, and they rented, people on the island rented out when she rented, she rented down the road. Uh, there's one, uh, um, that was the first teacher you remember? Uh, yeah, I remember. Is, and Goldie Hardesty, uh, she was, uh, she was a Willis from Atlantic, High Willis and Paul and that crowd's sister. And, uh, the principal, the, the first year I went, I went to school, I went back in second, first grade, I went too far, I didn't, I weren't too sharp. So, <laughs> so you, <laughs> and uh, I went on the second year, I went to first grade, Goldie, Willie's and the principal now was from Harlow, George Hardesty. And she, she wanted to mind him, but that's not the point. <laughs> the, the second grade teacher was from uh, Gloucester, the owner Jarvis. And the third grade I went to, uh, Prudel Hauser. She was from upstate summer. Uh, so how do you spell that? H O U H O U S E R, I think. Howder. And then on the fourth grade, uh, uh, Leslie Davis from Marshallburg. And then when I got a fifth, sixth grade, uh, they, they had a uh, Ulame Farmer. See, them teachers, them, they had, uh, uh, had two grades. That, that was so I, I, I only went for the seventh grade, honey. And and then what you do after you got out of the seventh grade? I went I went for the seventh grade, and then I, and I said, well, if you've got a picture, you don't need always case pick crow catch clam. <laughs> don't need always case to catch catch clam. Know, but of course, I realized later. Yeah. But we go catch clam fights and said, peck pale full. Mm. I don't mean I roll off it peck five cent. Five cent for a peck of clams. And penny a pound for a crow. I did it for about five years. We ran out of some night. People, local boys around there, kept mackerel fish in the nighttime and bluefin in the day. And then we go to Oak Cook sometime in the wintertime, go down to that ocean. It's a wonder one, everybody wasn't drowned in there. But anyway, I did it for about five years. Mm-hmm. Then I told my father, I said, this is it. And I'm going to do it in the morning. So, so, what, so what did you decide to do? I, I, we... The, the summer I went in '38, we were, we were shrimping along Way Shore. On Way Shore? They had a sweet nest about, about 30 yards long. Two men were together over there. 30 and, yards? And, and, uh, and old, uh, probably, you could actually shortly be a crew here, a crew there, a crew all the way down. You have a working space, maybe 100 yards. That was your spot. And somebody down there was there. And I remember the night that I. Me and my friend nephew was over there. And we went there right to the what we call it Gummery's Camp. I can picture right now right where we were at. Gummery's Camp? 
uh, camp? camp there. Old camp. We had during the war. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, and we stuck. Boat. We took the sail down, laid it up on the shore. So, and we get we get we get there for dark. So, we sit there, and that boy drink the sun, get set, and the flood probably coming in, and the moon reared on the first night that ever seeing right the light. So we. And a couple of boys out there on the little boat there and had a lantern. And I. I did. I hear her say, Well, I just saw one. When I did. See, shrimp come to the top of water to a light. To a light. And huh? it, it, shrimp would go by. And it was watching how much shrimp was moving. And me and that boy, my older cousin, we sit there and say, um, the night, we over here, we, you're young, and you may dream, see. I said, that place tonight, people, uh, uh, cars right around doing this, and that. look what we're doing. I said, it's a better life than this. By that time, the bridge light been on in Moorhead. I was, I was a big sight, I said, the bridge light been on. That was a big time to watch the bridge And that thing hit lights. me, I got up, that thing hit me, I looked at him, who said, uh, I said, Mac, I quit this. I quit as now, right now. Get that sail and get that stuff for I'm going home. I'm quitting. I'll be right on. And the sail, I could, the West End Island is a place called Red Hill, and there no lights on it. You can see the right line. I know right where the ski estate was. Mm -hmm. I said, I, I put the sail on it. I said, I'm going to say the flood tight home. I'm going to run to that state, tie her up, put her in there, and take me a we have a little lantern in every car for a walk. And I used to carry a fish gig with me. If there weren't no uh, shrimp, I'd go floundering. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm the lantern pan for that gig in the woods. We ended up hanging that net on a nail in the old front porch. I mean, be necked out some pot, quit fishing. Well, I told him, now, I said, Why you do it all your life? Yes, son. I said, God, What you got for it, sir? I said, I said, No. And I had a second cousin. She was a sister to uh, 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 Lillian Day, and she was uh, this Joel, uh, his mother's sister. Mm -hmm. Her name was Bertha Gray, mm -hmm. and she had married a boy from Atlantic. He was on leave. He was safe in Long Island. I said, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to right back to him. See, up there. Now, right here now, we can talk about the service. And the Coast Guard at this time, you had life pool stations all down the coast. Mm -hmm. He had your cutter service. They took offshore oh, yarn, two, three hundred miles. But the surfmen, we call it like, they took the killer away, you know. Now, I used to see them boys walk around and I always wanted to be a surfman. You always wanted to be a surfman. Oh, that, mm -hmm. that, 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 that. I, I went down there, and, and it just so happened that Sunday that they, uh, I got a hold of my brother in law, I had not he said, Yeah, come on up. It seemed like I could get him a bit of a your, your brother in law was in Long Island? No, my brother. Your brother, brother was in Long Island. He was a renting car. He went up there in 1929. He'd been up there 10 years. And he was already in the he service. Already, I got a hold of him. Got to stay with him. See, them days, there weren't no boot. There weren't no recruiter. There no weren't no recruiter. You go right, if you went in a light surf station, you went surfing, you go right to the station. Mm -hmm. And then he said, Come on. I got, I went, the boys had a ball game in, to Atlanta on an open truck. And I got the board with that crowd that went down and played ball. They went to the field, I went to look for Paul. Mm -hmm. I found him. Yeah, he did right back. Okay. So he said, I'll be down here a few more days, I'm going back. So the next week, I put it this I said, I believe I'll go and see if I can get a couple of dollars to put in my pocket car with me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I mean, next week, next week we were waiting for him to give me the call. But I, my, my mind was made up, say. And I went on a Saturday night, and I got home next morning about sunrise. Pa said, son, said, Paul sent the word to some of the boys, if you're going to New York with him, the 10 o'clock ferry around the island across the glory, and said, be on that 10 o'clock ferry. I'll pick you up. My grandma, uh, I, I didn't have too big a war room to worry about. <laughs> and, and I ate what I had, and I went down and go. My friend, down, I, she had a car. I mean, they had a car. But all them boys who grew up on this island, 
They were 16 and 21 years old. They want they one of us on the car. Their father's car they drove, but they want them. But I went up there and he we got across the house. He was laying out waiting for me. Now in even on days they used to make these single door cars, but they had a rumble seat in them. Oh, had the rumble seat, yeah. You remember, you remember mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. So and they had a little boy who was five years old, and on the back of that front seat she had a little leg, but had a little boy left a little kid in But her his brother was in the front seat with him, so it's free. So where's Ira get? Mm-hmm. I was sick. <laughs> Hottest day. Oh. And he was going to Roanoke Rapids, which was up in the other Virginia. Oh, line, yeah. See somebody. And I, them that, honey, you and every one of them town, Greenville, and red light, red light, and you finally, we finally got up here for it. And we finally got to Roanoke Rapids, and he got out, and his wife, Bertha Gray, she was my second, she was my second cousin. She said, all right, honey, she's coming up here in the front of us. All right, that son's killed him. All right, I'm all right. And we got to Richmond. Yeah. He stopped to a house. I can never figure out if it was some of his relative or some friend that sat up for the night. And it, it, it was getting late, and people sat on the porch. They didn't have any air conditioning. Mm-hmm. And people sat on the porch, you know. And they, you know, they lived in one room. I kept one little cart. Thought I'd put my blood up. Took them best to me. And next morning we took over in New York. Got up there just for a night. I hit Long Island, see, you, you start in New York City, go down to 100 miles. Rockaway was right near where New York, New York Harbor. That, that's Long Island, that's Sandy Hook, that's New York Harbor. Rockaway was stationed right there. Mm-hmm. And, but he was living up in town. And he had, he had a brother named Harry. He lived down an island in a town called Islip. Where my brother, older brother, had married a woman. See? Mm-hmm. So his in laws was living out, his, uh, and his brother lived in the same town. Mm-hmm. He said, I'll go down tomorrow, uh, see my brother, and I'll call you, I'll drop you off to the, his, his crowd, and he can, he don't take care of me anymore. So he, my brother was out on the other end island. All right. He came in, I went to the house, I didn't like, and the old man was out here, he retired. It's almost in there. Put a bit of Close up to his face. He said, there's a train leaves out of here about 1.15. Go ahead to Montau. So I'll ride you out there. And he carried me out there. I put my gun and got to Montau. My brother's wife was waiting for me. I think it cost me a dollar and a half going to work train. Mm. Well, he got out and we stayed. I got out there in the latter, uh, it was the latter part of June. I, and them days now, you have a district office. Every state had its own district office. District office, uh huh. Bay Shore was an office for Long Island, New York, and, and that's situated about middle from, uh, from New York City, about middle way. Now he actually where he's at now is eighty-five miles or different. But never what them do them days when they're going to take him in in the service at a light post station. They call down the line to the station and say, we're going to take in some surfing. If you got some recommendations, send them in. And I told that man, I got, I said, I come up for one reason to get in the Coast Guard. And he got my name. And I said, all right. And one day, my brother come on and said, did you call up the days? So they're going to take us in surf. Say, won't you? I've been over there like a. Wait, which which uh, which place was it now that they I, asked I was, for you? I was in Montauk living with my brother. Montauk. And, but, the, and them district called down to the station there. See, when my brother was stationed there, and they called down the lines, and all their station let them say, we're going to take us to the search mm-hmm. If you got any money, send us an application. Mm-hmm. But he come to me and said, the man says, come over there. We'll fill out some paper. I went over there like a, like a nigger on fire and <laughs> seven miles from water. <laughs>
But anyway. So was Montauk was your first Mont station? That, no, that, that's where I was staying with my brother. But what was your first station? What was I'll get, we'll get to that. Oh, okay. We, we, he went over and filled the papers out. He sent them in the district. And two, three days, I was holding my breath. He called up again and said, uh, take that boy you read and, and tell that Lewis man go get her physical. And you know that man told one of them boys in the state house, put the gas in the car, take it. I had to go about uh, East Tampa, it was about 25 miles, about from here to Moorhead. Mm -hmm. I got my physical, brought it back, cut to the man, he sent it in about a week later. They called up and said, uh, had that boy in Bay Shore on the, it was on the 12th of August, half an hour at 10 o'clock, Bay Shore office, and he told the boy out there, she go down and gas pump, put the car up, pick that man up, and he carried me away up there. Show sure that. Coast Guard. Wow. And then he got on the phone. And what year was this? 38. 1938. 12th day of August. I would be 70. Uh, 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 eight, then, then. It'd be 73 years come over. Mm -hmm. And the man got on the phone there. See, he was on that. They called for the switch. That one station on the beach, they called for the switchboard. He could hook him up anybody down the line. Mm -hmm. He got on the phone and called him for a minute. And they, I, 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 well, he asked me first, uh, but I said, what part of the country you come from? I said, they come from down Carolina, a little take a parking lot here, Morehead City. Oh, I said. He got on the phone there. He ran that number and he got talking to somebody. Blah, 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 blah. He said, I was going to send you a new man. Well, he said, he's now in your neck of the woods. I said, now, who are you talking about? And he said, all right. <laughs> well, the time where he sent me, where I went, there was a, it's like it is now. You, like, I want you to be like Atlantic, how that bay from car down there sound. You had to go by boat. Mm -hmm. Now you go down to Atlanta, look right across the state, you can see it's Port Bankston. Mm -hmm. And there's another town called Beltport. Beltport? Bellport. 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 Mm -hmm. And on a, a great south bay on the south shore of Long Island. And there's a yard club dog that's where everybody dog. They, they go back and forth every day and run the mail and all the river. He said, tell the man to drop him on down to the dock. Dock come back. All right. He probably that about twelve thirty. And shoot around this sort of little boat coming and uh, and he come and stop. But what they do, the boys are going short on liberty, the boys going back on the car boat, and I got a fellow from the hat of our store, and I said, I don't know, he said, yeah, we know you're coming. He said, you hang around here, the boys will be calm. I said, all right, Greg, the boy said, I got back over there. And the, the captain of the station was from Atlantic. Uh, Howard Daniels. Howard Daniels from Atlantic. Atlantic. Oh, my Atlantic. gosh. Atlantic. And, and there was a Hattersman there, too, a Styron, you said? Was there a Stiern from Hatteras? Uh, a Stiern, Chauncey Stiern, he's the one that told me that. He said, uh, said uh, he's from Hatteras. He said, well, I'm going to show it to you. Boy, it's coming back. So I caught a ride over there. And I suffered. And, I went, and they had, in the summer months, they had their station. And then they had a bunch of them stations. See, during the uh, uh, prohibition. Had their station like that. There's 30, I believe there was 31 stations on, on the right south shore. Mm. And there's a couple of stations down there started out. But in seven months, we had to send a double tower down there. But send two watches. A place called Lone Hill. And Lone, it, had, it had the right name. Lone Hill. You get up right when you go and see with them pines, pines on the back of you in the ocean in front of you. Mm. Well, we went up there and we, at eight o'clock, they send. Three men up in a truck, eight to twelve, twelve to four, and four to eight. Well, the next morning to be a man coming in the truck again it takes from eight to two and two to eight again. And I went on the next morning, four to eight point. I got close guard at eight next morning. What? What? Four. Okay. I got back to the station eight and Dan said, uh, "Louis said, uh, by the coast guard station Saturday's cleanup day." Mm -hmm. They cleaned everything white, shine the brand, white the water, shine the floor. Get. He said, Are you, why don't you go down there and scrub the boat, scrub the white work, and the brass and more. I said, that's what I'm asking you. I'm my first job on Saturday morning. So now I was on my way. Yeah. We drilled weekdays every day. A beast cart had learned uh, 
But I have a, I got a little bit coming out. I want to show it to you. I call it Surfman's Bible. The Surfman's Bible, uh huh? <laughs> they had to learn a pattern that I had to deal with sometimes brown. Somebody can come out there, they're, they're, they're full of water, but they're not dead. Mm -hmm. How do you get the water out of them? You know, when I said, get them. Like, Resuscitate them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Resuscitation. Mm -hmm. I was a new, in 41. I went to New York City on Radio City on the television when I did. Had it on, on television. No kidding. Yeah. How about that? Had, had, a, had five of me surfing. But so, but, so what was your job uh, in the drill? Uh, but we, we, we what was your job? Morning was really and afternoon. So on the beach, beach apparatus, what was your job on the beach apparatus? Well, you were assigned, see, it takes seven minutes to hit that up. Mm -hmm. Well, the surfman, he was not a radio man, but he had a detonator in it. The last man, the first man, the oldest man, I would be number one, number two, and the last man would be down the end line, I was number seven. Mm -hmm. And on that drill, at number seven, everybody had a position. So, mm -hmm. seven and eight, and you said it up. Give me a drill, thinking like code. We got flags. Semaphores and, uh, yeah. yeah. Drill, 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 drill. Did you ever, uh, did you ever bury the dead man, the anchor, the sand anchor? Oh, yeah. yeah. All that? Oh, yeah. But you never got to fire the log gun, did you? That was the keeper's job, wasn't it? To fire the log gun? Oh, and I, yeah, when I was putting it down, well, you see, I stayed there uh, till, uh, and when I left home, of course, there was a little girl down there at your road, you know. I went to school with her. Mm -hmm. She had the same password. Do you ever remember the left hand car? He married a girl from Pit, uh, uh, Pitman, from Martha. Mm -hmm. Martha Pitman, right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and he had a, boy, a brother, Paul, used to work on television. Mm -hmm. And he had a, his older, her older sister married my older brother. That's but I, 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 I got, I went to school in Sinclair, and after I got up, went off, before I went to serve, I had my on, I got, I went to a couple of times, uh, but anyway, when I come home, and, and you know what, the same year I went to serve, her older brother had married me, her older sister, and father, he was living there in the house with her, he lived right there, you know where that fish hook is, right on that corner there, right mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And uh, her father, he was an old round man, a carpenter, masonry work, and he had set his nets in forty year, you know, all around. And we had him children there all together. She, his wife died. She was thirty nine. Maggie was my wife's name. Maggie. She was five years old, and her brother, her oldest girl, was nine. They had less of us seven, and Maggie was five, and the little boy was two, three. And all the group again. And you know, the same year I went to serve, that man got his picture and got his picture and, and he went to the doctor. He would eat up with sugar. Oh, and so he got infected. And wound up in Duke, taking the armor, and then 6th of December, he buried it. Oh, my goodness. And I come, I, and uh, I've got there all this time now, and of course, I'm sitting in nights up there, and then uh, look out the tower. And then, Station here and the Setak Town right back in the sand there, you still go all around the ocean, see. Mm -hmm. Many Saturday night and moon shining for the time. They got that tower from that side, see. And I said, well, I wonder why that door got a hard to run or not. Yeah. You get the bounce of me now. I said, no, I'm so. Because you weren't going to fish and, anymore. And, and on about the 1st of December, about the 1st of December, Howard Anderson said, who is this? Now his wife was crying at She said, dude, how did I go home for Christmas? Or, now I don't know. Sure. <laughs> so anyway, we went, we, we left up there. You see, when you're taking leave, your leaves, if you're going to leave on the 15th, at the midnight of the 15th that morning, you can leave in time after 12 o'clock. Mm. Well, we, we left on the 10th, which was on. Uh, Run ashore on the car that night before. And there's a man there with us there. He had a brother lazy. He had a brother in 
to stay in that way, and he went to catch right back home. Well, he wrote the ride right down through that town. Okay. All right. So he took us on the next that night before by 8 o'clock, and we took off. And believe it or not, the uh, traffic got a little bit. We had to come right down Long Island, every one in town, and get the U.O. go across Manhattan Bridge, go across Manhattan Bridge, down through the Harlem Tunnel, come out of Jersey, and it had more than one we got to Berlin next morning about five o'clock, and he went walk out of the head. And you know that one got a big break with that. And they made him tip off. We got, we got, we got down there, and we got down to Thomas and you were, I, you know, you and you got to come and get down about Newport. I start smelling Jimmy. Yeah, it does. You smell the salt in there. Yeah. <laughs> and he, 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 he uh, see the flash berry now. Well, I mean, I've been far apart. Mr. Lewis, far apart. I said, yeah. I said, Mr. Daniels. I said, this time of year, people fishing. And then they're going to boat and put the fish out. And they're going home. I said, if you would drop me off down on Front Street. Okay. He come right down the middle of that block. From Charlie Hill store, put it right put there. I got out my suitcase. I looked back to him going away from me. And I was a little man, I said, that, that's really good if I were knew him. <laughs> and I said, Willie, really? really? you going to hide that? Yeah, come on. Uh, he, he put his feet out. I just caught him. You just caught him. How and about that? Come on down. Man? We come on for the when it, it pretty sad, sick camp. Come on out from Taylor Creek, coming to the west. Around, uh, right up there, the west and all right, 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 right seminary. Old, the family had a little dog there. He used to run out there. And I said, Put me out on the end of the dock. He would you know, he just put me out. I come ashore and went on shore. And when I went, that put my family cemetery, I went right by my mother's grave. And all that mm-hmm. I come on up, I come home with surprise. Oh. I come out of the house. I'm a sister there to the ironing board. I can remember that. She was standing there ironing. And the older baby, my father was sitting in his lap. And my oldest, my aunt, Monta, she was sitting over there. I went up there and stepped in the door and put the door. And my sister looked around. I thought she was going to drop dead. She said, Young as there's are. <laughs> then she said, I knew that was you way too old. <laughs> well, anyway, I said, I went. It weren't long. I said, the, my brother was living down there with me. And I told them, I thought, I'm going to see my brother. <laughs> I just went to see her. I was in love, honey, I was in love with that girl with a passion. <laughs> she was the love of my life. Yeah. And I went out there, she, my friend, cousin, and she asked, Lydia, come on, Remy. I said, oh, come on, come on, I'm kind of nice. I went to start running back the house. And uh, there's a girl from the island there, come on, somebody called her, her name was Maddie. She might Clark Brooks. She was, uh, she, was a, uh, she was a mother of Clark Donnie. She said, Manny, come in and look what I got. He comes in, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I went around the house. I went in the, they had an old fashioned house in the backside, old fashioned kitchen. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I went in there, Nora, she went in first and knocked on the door. And I remember Nora was sitting to the eating table and Mike was standing behind her and fixed her hair. Oh. And her covered the girl around and she walked there. But that, she really, that took a toll on her. She really, I used to say. So then, kind of time like that, you don't, you had to play, you play your cards right. Mm-hmm. And I, but just to see her. But she did show up, you know, father. So I went back and I got, I got that car. In the meantime, the father got me a car next year. I come over and I went over again. And went for it and went and got it. And I come home in 1940, 39. I went back. I started writing her. And I come home 40. You started writing her letters? Yeah, uh-huh. I started writing her. In July 40, I come home, I leave. I got to leave. I come up and say, I had a car I could drive. Down the road there, uh, used to a uh, colony when people die, and a man, the men in the neighborhood, they go get a wood casket, mm-hmm. and the man would take care of him, see? Mm-hmm. After the woman, the women would take care of him. Mm-hmm. So this fellow right down there, uh, in the middle of his name was David Guthrie. I knew the man, all the boys. And he had died, and, and there was a crowd around to the house. And quite a young crowd. And I went down, and of course, she was there. 
Maggie was there. And around about 10 o'clock, they got born. They had to walk down the path. To, uh, there's a road right there now, and you go back there, call called Honeysuckle Vine. Mm-hmm. We went right and fit that. And all the way on the shore there, and a little boat, tied to the state, little boat house down there. We went down and said, oh, I remember lighthouse blank and the moon by the way, and the wind just a light on the shore. Just nothing but the moon. And you know, I told someone, you look around now, and she said, we got a pretty dead in the dark. <laughs> the moonlight moon shining around. Oh. And I asked that question been mad after many millions of times mm. and held my breath. Held your breath. <laughs> and she said, I asked her, she said, yeah. I saw honey should have sweet as mm. mm. You miss her, don't you? Mm. I never got over no, no, Never got over her. I'm telling you. You're a lucky she, man. She made me the right of love of my life. Yeah. Love of your life. She's a good boy. Give me two young children. Yeah. What were the, what were you, what are your children's names? Yeah, we cut her back with me up yonder, stayed up there. Mm-hmm. I got around 1940. And the funeral, he got out of service. I had a little, in, in the night, he played a big Coast Guard station. And a little cottage here, when the old boy had family, he let us stay home night with the family. Oh, that's The children nice. went to school. Yeah. And the fellow empty and I got the man up and stayed there. It was just like a bed on a honeymoon. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course, you, I mean, you're 70 we watch it. And a towel right in the middle if you need a holler, Louis. You, you know, <laughs> you know I, mean? I got up there in 40 October, and so helped me the following year, and then come January, as 30, uh, 41. Mm-hmm. And Japanese was about to take the whole world, and they got, they got, uh, I did at a headquarters take some of these serpent and put on a Navy ship transport going in boys landing. Show them how to call that sword That was our job get off on that beach mm-hmm. under orders. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. About getting capsized. Yeah, turned over, yeah. And he sent it and I ain't caught in the crowd. Mm-hmm. I was one of and it, but it skipper the stage but it went sent two with it in charge of it. I had to bring her all the way back home to her sister. Mm-hmm. And I remember it. Poor man. And we stayed there about a month, boat and horse. And I come on weekend, go back. But we went back weekend. And we left on Friday, Good Friday, mm. for Easter. Went out right there, headed south. Mm. And we went around and had her sometime late, late night. Old ship was screeching and squeaking. But we went through the Bahamas on Easter morning. Mm. First place down there for it. I shipping deck on Easter. Of course, they don't know. We went to Cuba, Guantanamo Bay. Got a load of about 500 Marines, put them back to Charleston. Went back, got an error. But then they took it on another ship. And anyway. Well, hold, they, hold on a minute. Let, let me, uh, I'm going to get another tape out because we're going to run. Do you mind staying a little bit longer and talking with me? Huh? Do you mind staying longer and talking with me? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to get another tape out then. I got it. Got nothing to do. Uh, well, you know, uh, your photographs. Uh, has anybody ever copied your photographs of your of your family and and uh, all the things that you have at the house? Yeah, honey. Uh, I can talk about when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. Well, sorry to say, we uh, my uh, my grand. Uh, I had a picture, a snapshot of my mother. Mm-hmm. And I had my grandfather and grandmother were on one wall over here. And my father and then uh, yeah, my, my grandfather and his wife and my grandmother were on one side. But when I come out of service in my own picture, I got lost. I, found, I got home my grandfather by accident and saved that. Mm-hmm. So. But do you have any other, other photographs, older? <laughs> Do you have any other older photographs? No. I had my, my aunt. I, I made a picture before I went to serve. Send our partner. And, and, and like I said, in my honest, I got Lord. Good Lord. Yeah. Good Lord. I, I found me. I got one picture of my father. And I know I got one picture of my brother. He come home and leave in 31 October and I made a picture. Oh, snap. I had, I got a cabinet there that's about a hundred or over a hundred years old. Square box. Oh. Made out of wood mm-hmm. and a, uh, a Kodak brownie. 
It had a roll put in there. You, you only make pigs outdoors. Right. I still got it. Right. When I made them a pig of my bread in 32, and I stand there, uh, and, and, no, no, October of 32, 31, and she died the following July. Mm. And, uh, but I got pictures of my old camera when I first went to service there. Mm-hmm. Over, over about 75 years. So, do you, do you have those? I, I got a picture of them. I mean, maybe that camera in the service. You know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I'd like to see some of those. I didn't have, I ain't got all kind of service picture. I'm loaded with them. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let me, uh, let me put this in. Two of Ira Lewis, March the 2nd, 2011. And Cat Meyer, you were telling us about you were you had to uh, you were on a transport. Yeah, uh, see, we, we, on that transport, and we, go, we had to work with the Navy. See, see, in the war time, say the uh, Coast Guard come under the Navy. Say, mm-hmm. emergency. And 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 you were teaching these guys how to land. We're supposed on these? to see, but you had to catch. We went aboard them ship. The second ship we went aboard. First ship we went. Brooks Marine, right, and then transfers over the air. And we went aboard that ship, and, they, and, the, and the messengers, you know, over the day, everybody get a rest up. But every boy over there, a big commander aboard on And he wanted to know what kind of uniform he wore. I warned her, what, what surfmen called? I said, oh, nice looking uniform. Mm-hmm. Well, then, he got, then he got over to making his speech. A different tone. He said, now we know why you boys come aboard here. But, 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 hmm. don't be sticking on the top of your toes when you're out on the boats. What's that saying? Don't be telling him what to do. So we better be standing with him, showing him. He was dickhands, having the lines. That worked good. But the day we went out there, on a Saturday morning, she lay about five miles off the sea, and there was about five of them transports there, and every one of them, there was a flock of boat, a big litter. We went up, them Higgins boats, you call them. Higgins? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was one of the first one ever made. She was made right flat top. but no ramp on them. They had to help boy on the mm no ramp, you had to actually climb over the side. Yeah, a little boat. It was about 38 foot long. It had a uh, middle of the motor, and on the front section, there was a row seat chair, row seat chair, go back to after the row seat chair, and up in the front order control. And we got out of the shore, and we put 38 Marines on that boat. 38. The seaman was a runner. That's SN, seaman. Non rated and a fireman for the boat to be the engineman. Mm-hmm. And there was an ensign, an uh, officer, standing on the side. An ensign. And myself, a surf, a deckhand. A surfman, a deckhand. And I mean, we started on the end, and we guess we got about 500 yards off the beach. There was a little reef we had to go across. You could go across it, but you could see the bottom, you know, shallow. Mm. And, but we made it, and we went on it, it was so smooth, they would, we put we put them out and brought them, just lay like the boat lay out there and just let them kill time. My old man used to tell me, send me out on the boat, keep your eye on the weather. Mm-hmm. I look on the northwest there and I saw them old big front of head and make it up very long on mm-hmm. the seven cell. But time made I know I said I was coming out of there. <laughs> They didn't watch them. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't watch the weather. I can't watch them. They didn't they watch the weather. Big, yeah. big, and the color began to shine darker. Mm-hmm. Down sweat on I said, that's not going to come out of there. And they come right along, getting close and closer, and there it was right there. And that by that, and they come, there come all the boys. And but make a long story short, we got that crowd helping our morning boat. Said, they want to ram them more. Hey, push them off. And we just said, we got the boat off the beach. Straighten out, it struck. Mm. A blowing and the sea come with it, a rain in the heart of rain. And, and they, here's that. There was another boy next to him, we got ahead, and that boy, that boy was following him. What, 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 what,
feet hang on the wash wash it up dry. Them boys, the boys up them them my backpacks on. Mm-hmm. And they answered down on the side of me, and that farm car, he just run up there. He kept on going, and they come, that boy in front of him, he come to that reef, and he saw the sea breaking. He scared him, I knew it. He turned to turn, and the sea broke right against him, and he turned, went shut around, and the floorboard, the bubble could take on water. Bubble that pretty sailor. And, and that boy turned around, head on, he turned around, pushed it in the corner, holding on. A boat that got to ride the sea, but she couldn't ride, she was heavy with water. Mm -hmm. And she go over one and the water pouring in her. And the four boys were almost water. I said right now, I said, I said to myself, hey, you're going to sink this boat, that boy, if he keeps on pushing her. You couldn't say nothing but water, mm -hmm. rain and water. Mm -hmm. I said, that boat, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to swim back shore. But then my boys were in backpacks. Mm -hmm. He said, right down here, he went slack around. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. I walked right down for that crowd there. I remember that answer down here, holding on. I tapped him on his shoulder. He turned around. He was, white. he was just as scared as they were. He didn't know what he did. I said, this boy keeps on pushing his boat. He's going to sink her. Mm -hmm. Now, on his ship, he says, don't be telling us what to do. <laughs> the answer says, I said that. He said, well, what are we going to do? <laughs> I said, you let me have that wheel. I'll show you what we do. Take it. He let go and volunteer. If he'd have if he'd, if he'd, no, he didn't know it, I was going to snatch him right away from it. Mm -hmm. But then he turned around right and the first thing I turned it right around and let it drift. You can drift with it for your sink. Bucking it, mm -hmm. and the water got. I said, "Tell them." And them boys were, sh the marines were sh for shelling with the helmets. Mm -hmm. We got to get they were the bailing out the boat. They were bailing the water, water out. The water in the boat was sinking. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then finally, and, and got. I said, "No." I told the incident. I said, "Get some of the boys in the front of her. Get them in the back. Get the bow up." Some of your boys go back. And some of us that's enough. I put her in gear and turned her around me on the head. Took in about five gallons of water. We were sprayed her. And we got that big ship, that big cargo net hanging down there. She big as an island in that cargo ship. That boy come to me said that one in Lake Sucker. Said, do uh, you want me to put her on the side of the net for you? <laughs> like you couldn't do it? <laughs> I said, Betty, I believe I can put her on the side. I want that good with him. Uh. <laughs> but you know, them boys, when they walk by me, they, them Marines, they said, Betty, pick it, you're taking over now from saving that back. Honey, that brother's son is no teller. Them Marines put her down. Oh, they would have drowned. Back on Billy, going right down. Oh, yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we laid right down and played around. In the meantime, I got that finger bummed up, and I wound up in the seat bay that night. I like to lost that thing. I still don't mind her, sort of. Got in it. I, the anchor hit it and bruising and broken that finger. Mm. And it laid around there, and I walked around the deck and got off the boat, and we were once, uh, the boat scuttled a bit, got around, shipped over, going into Moorhead City. But in the meantime, now, man, she could, you could write back and forth, see. Mm -hmm. I get letters from her. From her. And the mother, the message, the scuttle bit around the boat, going in the moorhead, drink the boat, got in her way. And pretty day Saturday, and I said, boy, if you go to that moorhead, I'm going to... I, I, You're going to Harker's Island, that's I'm right. To to that's too close. I'm going to Harker's Island, I can go to site. And she can get right around, look, I can sit moorhead, sit at Water Tower. Mm. And she come right down Wilford Bars, and now she's still be turning pretty so She went right on by. <gasps> and right there, kept like I was riding off that breakwater. Dropped a hook on a late Saturday afternoon. I could stand on the stern of the boat, send my dad boat to the moors. And she on the island, me on that ship. Ooh, well, I was done, boy. Yo, that was heartbreaking, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyway, next day I saw the boat come out of drain, we caught it in. For it. Mm. That was before they had dug it out. Yeah. No, no. no they didn't come out of drain. And I, I knew the boat, old man Chumper Withers. I, I said, I know that. That's for Francis. And he come up there, and he had his wife and his mother and all kind of kids. Yes.
sell. Those hurt. Right. Is she born in or not? And they come up to the to him. It was my gratitude. Mm-hmm. His, uh, Keltner's mother was my father's sister. So they were my aunt and my aunt. And I well, they turned out to be their own. And I keep looking at both of them. stay there up there until uh, July and you know it was September before he got out of hospital that thing really and then they finally got out we had to go to New York and my enlistment ran out on the uh, 12th of August say three years mm-hmm. we had to read it mm-hmm. and the district said call that district I said she said there's a man missing we sent 15 to that district we got 14 back <laughs> and, and they got it cornered around and said, I found out, I bleed upon her hospital. And he called her and said, yeah, yeah, we got a Coast Guard. And the man, and the man told me, said, uh, he said, uh, I'm, I walked on a day, and a man said, uh, I think I'll let you out tomorrow. Say, I'm supposed to go out tomorrow. The next day, for that day, tell me the day I'm going to see you tomorrow. That day I went to lunch. I go down. I go. I go down to the lunch room. You know, galley. at the hospital. No, at no, no, yeah, at the oh. hospital. Mm-hmm. I always remember what they had. Four chops. Four chops. Four chops. I went back up there till the time. I ate about seven o'clock. I'm laying on the bed reading the magazine. All the time. Your stomach started rolling. Bathroom. Oh. By seven o'clock, I come out about ten o'clock oh. at night. Oh. Everything comes. And out. a boy coming in. Much popular. Blue point and a neighborhood. <laughs> and you know what? That next morning, I got up and I met some on different. I went over there and reported in. I don't read this. You got you got to go take a physical. So I said, well, send him back. And out there, where you remember, it used to be before the Pacific Beach, he's out furry there. Mm-hmm. And on the, fur, on the north side of the coast guard station, right called Little Creek. He said, but I said, uh, but when we'll send you out there temporary. Now, when you feel that I feel all right, come back and we'll p- uh, take care of you. All right. Send me out there and put right on water to rest. Mm-hmm. And I told that chief there, I said, uh, I'll be tomorrow. I'll go on in. All right. <clears throat> For supper. They had pork chops. Don't tell me. <laughs> Where's your pork chop? You eat fresh ham. Mm. Fresh ham. Fresh ham and corn ham and smoked ham. He had a fresh ham that man did that boiled it all in it. And he sliced it up and it looked like paint. Mm. And me and not really like I wait eat that or nothing then. I can't. And you know they have me go and watch midnight that night. About ten thirty. They hit me again. Oh my god. I told the boy I said, go get somebody out there. and I had stayed there another week. I finally got out of there. Did anybody else get sick? Huh? Did anybody else get sick? I didn't find out why. But you know, for two, three years, four, five years, I ever ate, get around to eat a pork chop. <laughs> and I, I ain't all. 
I I don't eat no overdo it with a pork chop even now. Mm. Mm. But I finally got out there. But when I got back to New York, see, they didn't send me back to the station I left. They sent me to a new place called Rockaway. Rockaway? Yeah, mm-hmm. I had to go up man in charge. I said, man, I said, I'm in a mess here. I see that. I said, I expect to go back to the station where I had it. He, he, he said, I know part of your street here. And I called him, he said, yeah, I got a little part. I went around a small part of it. I kept it up. Small part? Yeah. And I stayed there for about a month. And he sent me down to the station down to a place called Atlantic Beach. It's an Atlantic station. I followed the first one. Then the first thing they hollered out, I started beaching the street. You sit down on the beach, it's all warm. No weapons right now. I remember trying to start, start the beach patrol. And what it was, you, you got an NAQ, you're in the station there, and down here about a place called Point Lookout, and there's a station there, it was closed up. It's about 12 miles. Mm-hmm. The man would leave the station here, he had a, it was, the, the Coast Guard station was up on the base side. You come in and, and, and then you had to walk across the surge, hit the the man would leave at 6 o'clock, get to the train, walk down here to Point Lookout. Four hours to get there. Had a mid-grade place. That clock, all they worried about hitting that clock. Mm-hmm. Click, click, click. Middle way. Now, was, and, was, did you carry the clock with you, or was it, or yeah, was yeah, the yeah, key yeah, on yeah, the yeah, post? I, I got one home. Oh, you do? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, gosh, that would be good to see that. And put that right in. But they worry more about hitting that clock at halfway more, they call it. Then you went on. I should show you have been there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when I got, when the man would get there, and the truck would be there with a new man. Uh, he had from two, from ten to two, four hours. Mm-hmm. I had the second one. He carried me down and put it out. The wind blowing northwest or freezing. Mm-hmm. Moan sun like that. I hit the beach and started out in the wind, but I stick my feet right in the wind again. And I had a hood over my head, so I just wanted out. I'm afraid my ears get forked and directly I went to the park pool. I reached out to have my breath freezing. Mm. Chandler, it's all ice there. Whatever <laughs> it's all. I kept on going by myself. And, but I got to the station. I got back to the station at 2 o'clock. In the morning? Next morning, 2 o'clock. 10 to 2, to give me four hours. We walked down the way. You had to climb up that my board walls, get down. One time he had to walk to the beach, go up and come up a block, walk, go around back, go back to the beach. And when I got ready, I had a power panel just like that. And of course, I, had I got ready to go and pull my panel and go to bed. So my and I were blue. And I could squeeze that up and I would stand right there. Right on the borderline. Really. So, so your thigh, the thigh yeah, from yeah. your knee to your to your hip was blue, right, right. And, and you could push it in, and it would stay. I, I squeezed it right over my shoulder, it right on the borderline, right, and mm-hmm. I rubbed it. And it was eight degrees above zero when I walked in that station. Mm. And honey, if I sit down, they say the worst thing you've got to watch when you're really dead, or like that, you start feeling tired. Mm-hmm. I'll probably sit down and rent. When you sit down there, sleep. Seat. Yeah, you feel sleepy. I kept right on going. Why I sit down there, sit there, and I got dark, I was in the there. Mm. But that was why I put it. Mm. Mm. And I stayed right there, and then, then, of course, the Germans come ashore there. Oh, you did have some Germans come ashore? Uh, that was down east of me there. Uh, and began since when that's where the uh, boy come across. See, I was stationed in 43. See, I went to a place called Junior Beach, and then, see what we're doing, they get him to the station, honey. The crowd of the old timer been there, they're over by the watermen. Mm-hmm. Born and raised when they had to row and boats, and everyone's there busy. But when the war coming, they start filling all them young kids out of the cities, and out of Missouri and Chicago, you know where it's coming from. They, no, 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 they no, set no, up no. a school there. They made a school there. Smith Point. Smith. And it took, we surfmen, the five of them, and made us instructors, instructing you guys how to make that, that, like that, their uh, beach car drill, mm-hmm. and that, how to row. We take them out and take classes and take them in a the bay for about a week, break them in, get them to learn all the command, and get them so they can row together and all that stuff. Then we go to the beach, going for the surf back and forth. Mm-hmm. 
Did you do the capsizing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Thing? I got picked on I read, I rode in New York Harbor in 1939. My first ever hunting service party. year later, I went on a rowing team, international boat races. Mm. We went around and we trained our march on a Labor Day weekend and we went to Rockaway Point and tied the boat on Friday, and like you say, in New York Harbor. That's where the road New York Harbor was like something like that. And the Fort Macon boat. Jersey, Virginia, there were seven boats in all. But you mean our, our Fort Macon boat yeah, yeah. was up there? We, we, we got to Rockaway Point next Saturday morning. I think some of that car was supposed to ruin man the car. I think it went on there by half drive for the next day. But well, never way. Next morning, took a boat, towed us over to one place called St. George, Satin Island, where we were some gathering. And we got over and looked on the first thing I saw was Fort Macon. <laughs> <laughs> I went in there and I tried, I had to do first cousin was cruel in that. I looked at him. I said, you tell me the truth now. Honey, they had callus for their own callus. I said, just how, now and this is the first week in September. I said, just how long have you been a real and wait for this project? He said, he caught us laugh. He said, we've been in Elizabeth City since last April. I rode it every weekday. Oh, my goodness. That was it. We rode about, we practiced about three weeks. Three weeks. <laughs> uh, but when they come today, it started. Hey, rode up the train. Ford Macon. Now, Jersey had a good crew, too. Good boy. We were number three. Blah, 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 blah. And it, of course, there's one mile. You you fire the gun, you take off, and you row, and you get to the three-quarter mark, that gun fires again. When you do, you got to t- both them or turn that boat over and get your first stroke again and finish the race. So you had to... Row the three quarter mile, right. turn the boat over. Yeah, 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 and on the seat, when they fired the gun on the committee boat, you had to boat your oars naturally. Boat them oars, get that boat, turn it over, get her, go over, bring her back, take the first stroke. Get it 27 seconds. Wow. We beat them all on the trap side. Jersey was leading that two, three lengths for a really lightweight crew. And when that, we got we bit them all, and we we got a row and got right abreast of Jersey as he took the first stroke. Mm-hmm. And it's so tri- and that water I had her up there is cold as ice all of the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that stroke was by putting out the sweat hot, and he had that cold water. And he started running, tramp got him. Mm-hmm. It's just like pulling water for plug. Mm-hmm. And Jersey, I beat us a little bit. We got to come in number three, but I poured my crowd out waiting for her to get there. <laughs> so for making one. You weren't going to beat that crowd. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. They didn't go, to, they didn't drag up there. I wanted to go to the door and get beat. Uh, they, were, they were a crowd. And they had three or two more. And they were heavy boys. Yeah, but I enjoyed it. Uh, I think uh, that's a good point. I met a lot of good people, a lot of good boys. I wonder how many of them today just leave it. Mm-hmm. But to go back to that school, though, we had to have more fun. It, we have we have five five week course, and we got five instructors, and eight went to and I mean forty man to class, and he say you 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 Lewis you're your you're you 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 you're your rate you're, and you kept them same men every week. the first week you had to get them out in the bay on a little monomoy boat not to make a surf boat let me see that. And learn them all the commands. All was the model boy, boy that was a double ender? She, it was a double ender, but mm-hmm. she's slick sided, see. Mm-hmm. She wouldn't sell better just for in the bay work. She wasn't clean. We had to learn them all how to do it. Learn them all the little commands and I was doing this and doing that. But then they got her in, in the, then the, uh, the man said, well, every Friday we'll have a race to give the boys incentive. You know, mm-hmm. the five of us reboot. And the man get on the dock, you know, and he'd get her. And he went down to the point, you know, he'd get down the truck, get out, he 
we'd go down and you know, get on a starting line, and he you know, got a jockey for position, see. Mm -hmm. and, and and he he get on a bitch again, he drop the fly, off you go. And the man on the dock, he watched, he had him arranged, and the first boat went across it, that was the man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's great. And and the one that lost it was blowing northwest and the boat got rolling. And the boy he, he missed his spade. He got his oar messed up. And I kinda of, he got excited. And I tried and the man was not to do it. See he had you just about twelve inches. Had to give it to him. And I can I said I saw one. <laughs> I, I, I like that. Oh yeah, that was, that was a point of pride, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. And, and what it was, see, at school on Saturday, it was clean up day, had clean up iron and all that. But with whoever won the race, they get off Friday evening. Ah. Had a Friday night, Saturday, Saturday, and they had to be back Monday, 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I told them both right in the beginning, I said, now listen, when, when it went to race, gets the actually, I said, now listen, I write my living, I'm going to wake you boys. <laughs> Yeah, but but they got a fun, and we give, they got right, we got super start racing there. Uh, them boys are, and one old boy in Austin, a nice little boy. I call him Speed. I said, Speed. Come on, Speed. I, I be calling him Speed. Say, Come on, Speed. If I let him go, whip you again. And that guy, the chief and John, he tickled him a bit. Uh, well, I got, I put a little steam on and they'll cut on. See, when you lay in still, when you lay still that boat, the way that boat, that boat's got, you got to get the boat to move. And that was the same. I told them boys, I said, you, I, I said, no, I train them. You have your oars laid right in the water, tip on, and don't you watch, nobody but me, don't you look around, don't you look at you like straight, and, and I give you, go. I want you to make one big, Pull together to get that boat started. Mm -hmm. And then I count it off. I then stroke and stroke and stroke and stroke and get the jump. And then I slack it up. And then I take it. Well, well, and the boat would come around. But when I got that certain ranger corner, I said, now, Rob, I took the car from us. I said, step it up now. Every time that went, he was in there. He all the time. I wow. Did. That was good life, huh? Did you, did you I, ever build any boats? I, 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 I went off home. I got a little a sixteen foot skid. I got that Jimmy down there. Jimmy set her up for me, made a frame. Uh huh. Uh, he, he didn't Jimmy have, Lewis. He, he didn't have to do it. Oh. And I put sides on. Oh, but I I I kind of got a lot of memories. Yeah. I got too many memories. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not too many memories. I, I, and then, but after, after the war, honey, after that war, everything turned to boats. Yeah. And a number of young kids, they all went home. And the old timers ahead of me all retired. I stepped up. And I had to go to the Ellie's. That was the worst friend I've ever told. After that big accident, that Montauk point, that party boat, the rest of me, and, 45 party boat down there. I, I'll be down on that. They called us down there. Help me you talk about a slaughter. Tell, tell me a little bit about that. Was that uh... party boat named Pelican? Montauk is a great fishing place. And there's a lot of competition there. I've been down to Harvard Pier, but everybody's got it on them head boat. And that's where the head boat made where they get 30, 40 feet. And she didn't want too many regulations. Well, the big day, the holiday, and now Labor Day is the big, last big day. Now the day, and that morning, I oh, now I was up the line of station. I won station there, but I was talking, I knew a building down there. And now in belt, there's a train leaves New York City. She get uh, down to uh, Montauk Station about 7, 7.30. There's all the taxis waiting. Shuffle all the boys down to the dock, and everybody in front of the boat, come on this way, boys, come on this way. And everybody had to, and it filled all them boat full. There's one boat there, her name is the Pelican. And 
The captain never had a good reputation. Been a good captain. And they took them off in a calm day, beautiful, calm as ever been. They took hold. Now, you go out of Montau Harbor, you got to go five miles to get around Montau Point. Like, then you go out, you know, five, six miles. Well, see, Montau, don't mind the chest right out in here, and there's your ocean here, and there's your ocean here, and one guy gets you like a big pier out in the middle of it. And we, and that guy had got a red report the day before about some front that could have come down. And about 12 o'clock, I was already uh, east for All of a sudden, wind breeze up northeast. And that front moved in further. And all them boats were shortly on there, scattered us on from eight or ten miles. That wind struck northeast. Blew it like this. That water on that sound. And where the water going out. It comes and meets them two way together. Like Cape Shoal. Current coming this way and the wind is going to meet. That man got out there had 40, had 67 men, people on that boat. And he got out in that winter every day and it began to blow. It got worse and worse and worse. And, they, and he, a man wanted to come in, but he kept that. I'll give him some more faith. They didn't know no bitter. Big one in motor, he had one, big one in motors went out. Mm. He had one back. And it stayed right there. And it stayed right there. Stay right there. And Dick he got it, got his start back. And he limped. Now, I want you to visualize this share being Long Island. I want you to visualize this share being Montreal Point. And this is Long Island Sound. He was our chair. Mm. And we didn't blow him up like this. He could have limped right on in there and right at that one motor and got right to leave that anchor and come up and leave that. And we didn't blow it over. And then he come right back in there and he anchored. He'd be in the same harbor. And people could have gone around there and kind of got him off. He's trying to get around, come around one point. And he had that play for a goose chase. Mm-hmm. And he got down there and the crowd got that boat and then called up the station, get down to Montauk, get aboard the hand. And went down there in that harbor. Said there was something going on. They, that Coast Guard boat finally got that boat towed her up in that harbor there, in a big harbor there, put her in there, and he got her sling and got her. I talked to a black man on the dock. He was down in the cabin that time when she went over. Mm. I talked to him. His picture, I got his picture in a book out right, but I got a picture. Uh, he said, I've been coming to Montau for years. I said, I, he knows I, so I knows how bad he gets sometimes. And said, there was about seven or eight of them down in that cabin. He said, I put my life to your room. And said the crowd, oh, you chicken, why or something? Anyway, you, you, you know how. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When she went over, a, a little cabin went down. When he come up, open the slide, he he sort of wide open. He hey, for it. And somebody got on his legs. Told me, mm-hmm. he said I shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot. And I just about gone. He said I, yeah, I kicked real hard. And all of a sudden, he broke his hole. He went for that light place out. He floated up. He was going to say, and he said, when you get down that carriage, say you're going to find seven or eight of them down in there. So he was there. And sure enough, they got the water out of there. And they opened it out there. There's seven right around. Just like a bunch of hard crab and a basket, a basket all hung them under there. It was four, it was 45 of them drowned. Oh, 45. Oh. Including the captain. There was about 17 or 18, but it never recovered. And all he had to do was come right over that point, limped in there, and it was calm, dropped down, and then it comes. Because he was protected by that jetty. See, they had that, they had that ego. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cap, he had to take his men off. Mm-hmm. But he caught him his crowd and put his life. That was the pelican. Was the pelican. And they had a board of inquiry on that thing, Coast Guard. They showed 44 foot long. I got a picture on there. According to the design of that boat and the way she built, 27 people would have been a load for him. He had 67. Hmm. So he was already in trouble. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, let me ask you a little bit about Harker's Island, just because uh, this is, we're on the second side now, and, and we're on tape, but um, do you remember anybody saying anything about... The first Menhaden plant used to be, was here on Harper's Island. The first one. Menhaden. 
Bibby didn't plant. Used to be on Harker's Island. First uh, one in the whole state of North Carolina was on here. Uh, it was before my time. Well, I know it is, yeah, yeah but I didn't know I if heard, you had heard. I heard it. I think I thought it was on the West End Island. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's, yeah. uh... But there used to be a grist mill over on a and Island one time. Uh, yeah. I, I had heard that, too. And, in fact, I, somebody had just told me that the uh, they think the millstones are still over there. They might be over there, if not, yeah. I'm going to ask the Maxwells if I can go over there and tromp through their forest uh, a little bit. This year is Shell Point, honey, but I, even in my time, the dirt road would come down this island. It was a dirt road. I couldn't be able to make it. Furry. Old man Thomas was a charge on. He was at our short class, Thomas and grandfather. And they took the truck and take part of the boy to go to Shell Point. Oh, go back. You could go to Shell down Shell Point and turn up there and go up in there and a big tree to grow up and go up there and surf around and come on back out. Reach. Oh, it's probably for me. For my friend. Who's for it? Shit. Barney's came from Pamlico County. And come down to up there and put her nose up there and build a little breath and loaded them barges out of shell off that point before they ever started to road. So the shells on Shell Point actually went to Pamlico County? Well, even, even before they started. But they were going by the finish. And they started putting the road bed all the way up there where that yeoman store on that curve there was the guy's store that right here on that curve there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right there. That's where the road stopped. Stopped? Because the, the ferry came in in the middle of the island. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah. Now look, that road up there. There's lots of oyster shells up there now. Uh, down there. There was something on the shore over there. there about, but that, that right where a uh, young store, a uh, quarter guy store, right there. That road, when he comes on down there, and then branch road goes on the branch road. Okay? Goes on down. It's like John Creek. And he comes down, he goes on down, and he comes down, and he comes back up the bridge. I'm the boy. I remember. Saying I'm true, steady. Quite true. Holy, very good. Two boys come up there where that store is. Now, that road, the original road, them houses on that stretch on that side there were Judy and across. That road uh, right down behind our house. The original road. Mm-hmm. I was thinking I've got a, a map here. Here we go. I don't know if they've showed it on there now. This is the Right there is where they turn and right, then go down to the cemetery. That road used to go down down the road. Uh, 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 about four months how did a Judy and another one and run it and he come on come on back and down the branch road. They come around behind him how to But then him and then run down the back. That old old dirt road, the first one come out there in East Carroll County. That was our boy. But then, now, now where where was your house growing up? Where was your house before you that you grew up in? Where It says Lewis right there. Yeah. And I'm going to put that road, that road back on, hit that branch road in. But now, it, and now it goes right on down the yard. Mm-hmm. But that bridge, uh, that road went on down then, he first started right past that residence, the branch road, and then it turned off to the left. Now, of course, when the bridge comes, it's kind of like, that went on foot. 
Was this John's Creek in there? Uh, what was that called? Uh, that's Rush Point. Rush Point? Yes, uh, yeah, uh, let, me, let me get it. And this isn't all. Yeah, yeah yes, yes, it's John's Creek right there. That creek there. But that old road went on down through the lane. That's where you can go play in there. Somebody in that road put it in there. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right there. That, that, that. Mm -hmm. See, that goes on around yonder. Mm -hmm. yeah. But. But back, back yonder, but a little road come right right behind it. Dirt road. I replaced I mean, in about nineteen late twenties. And so you you live um you live right down in here now. Yeah, right? that house of mine right there. I'm about I say. And so you're only coming that curve right there that is about one, two, three, four, about somewhere about right in there, about right uh, I think one, two, three I thought you lived on that secondary road. Uh, I, I mean it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The second road from this corner. So, I, so you're... I'll be right there. I'll be right, be right, be right, be right, right there. there. Okay. On that ridge. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, somebody had told me, and maybe you've heard, that uh, some of the sand for Fort Macon bricks... For the grandma, honey, was the, it the sand or right, the clay right. or... Well, you know, you 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 to get my how you come to it's a ridge there. Uh huh. And across the road, as a report is, that rope's cut through that ridge. Uh huh. All right. But all right, that that sand out there back for the boulder got it. It was just as white as that. Just like salt. Wow. Fine as salt. White. Wow. White. Wow. The old women would scrub the old home fragrant with a candle eye and sprinkle white sand on it. Mm. You remember? Yeah. I remember hearing telling it. I don't I, remember. I saw it. I saw it on my grandmother's floor. And so they would scrub the wood floor and then put so sand scrub on it. They, they, uh, the floor there, four inch pine. Four inch they pine. Scrub pine uh, kind of lie and get it pretty clean, let it dry, and sprinkle that white sand on it, decorate <laughs> And now the car truck for it. Mm. Anyway, this year, a ridge over there, there and it goes wrong. But she, my grandma said, the history of water, when they built Fort Bacon, they had ox carts. They can come right in there, in the shore there. Mm -hmm. And on that, on that, that's the place could come. I done right there with the big water. And loaded in white sand car. And I, when I did that hell, oh my, my heart got a cellar. Are you a cellar? Yeah. Oh and, my gosh, a cellar on Harker's Island. Yeah, only one of the county, I know. Uh, only one of the county, I'm about that. And when I got in, uh, when I dug that cellar, I got a man with a drain line. I come up there, uh, you know, lady door, you know, and, and see, I went. He dug that sand out of there white, and he went down about seven feet before it ever started to come to the little brown. And uh, then that black rock, whatever we call it, my house is sitting in my brook, that's why I, I set my brick right on it. My house is sitting right on that hard rock. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But that sand there, white. I put all the mortar joints in my house. I made it out in the backyard. I had the sand piled up on each side there like this. And one Sunday evening, a crowd of traffic all lined down the road. I rose to curiosity. <laughs> they come to all right, what in the world are you going to do that hole? What are you doing with that hole? I said, I'm going to put a house on it. How are you going to get a house on that hole? <laughs> I'll get it. I really. <laughs> How about me, that? Me and Jerry, Jerry Lawrence was just starting in the bed in that. Building business? Hey, we, we, poured that, we poured that floor in there. Mm -hmm. I went down yonder, laid it off myself. I went down where I went so many blocks. And we laid that off. Me and Jerry poured that floor in there. Me. It was 2 o'clock in the morning. We were still like, working on it. I had to get it. And he polished that. It's just as dry as that right now. Mm -hmm. Slick it that. Jerry did a good job. Me and him. Yeah. But on that ridge, but back up when I was a boy, right east of my house, that drops off. Mm -hmm. And one time about 1929, I caught on fire. I don't have a never find out right now. You fire, caught on fire? Yeah, uh, no, that, 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 the woods. Oh, the woods caught on fire. But, uh, but back of my, where my house is, that low, right? They come right on down the ferry road. Mm. <clears throat> Where's that uh, curve there by the school? Is that the school there? 
I think it is. You know, we've got a big uh, boat house in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It right across the road there, right there where they got that far stop. Mm-hmm. And then they had to bring a fire truck and boat on a ferry tied up there and, and run hold it down there. Finally got it stopped right right across the road where that girl's house is. That was a farm, brother. What, uh, gee whiz. I had never heard that. What year? About what year was that? I, I was sitting around about 1927, 28. So there was no, no fire department on Harker's no, Island? No, no, no. And, and the church is down there, in that old, right there where that Texaco place is, an old church, they call it a Methodist church. It come right to the back, they put it on bailing water, but it expired it and went on down. Wow. They start right across the road from Gerald's boat house where they got to stop. And it burned all the way to the marshland. Mm. And back of my house, or my house is no, after the airplane died, I wanted dead trees. The water right there to your knees. Ducks should come in there. Mm. I got there at night and ducks come in there. I was there by the night, late 20s. Mm. Yeah. But it was gradually built up. So I'm right on that ridge there. That's a ridge there. Now, do you do you remember the ferry? Huh? Do you remember the ferry that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember. I I'm, heard. I, I'm 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 Chadwick. There's a fellow. I think his name is Oliver Chadwick. Call him Ob. Ob Chad. Ob Chadwick mm-hmm. and Walter Davis. Uh, you see Mabel. He just buried his her brother, older brother named Walter. He was a mechanic. He was a machine. He was an engineer on her. Mm-hmm. And, and what kind of boat was it? I mean, what kind of? Uh, she was just a flat with a little house on her side. Probably about five cars. Five cars. I got a picture. Oh, the Evelyn over here give me Maggie sitting on the furry dark road down there, and you can see the uh, the furry in the background. The Joyland, oh. they call it the Joyland. Loved it. Oh, it was called the Joyland. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know it had a name. Joyland. Well, I'd love to get a copy. I like to take a picture of that. I'll, uh, I'll try to. I, I got. I got a picture. I got on. She must have been about fifteen or sixteen years old. She well, now have, we've got to go to your house to see the kettle and the yeah. photo of. Uh, let's see. What, I got it written down here. A photo of your patrol. Cl- I want to get a photo of your patrol clock. You know. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. And I went. Uh, I was down there talking to her, Miss, uh, I said, uh, I said, D- 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 Dugan, what's her name? A uh, Dugan. Dugan. Karen. Uh-huh. I was talking to my nephew the old day, and I said, and then about them old clocks, and I said, boy, them, them things, I mean, I robbed them in his sleep. I said, I, I said, I'd like to have one, they was thinking, saying, carry my house and hang on the head of my bed. <laughs> and I said, when I get up and I nick it, smile. And Nick, I went down one another, and she come out there one in the book, give me. She gave it to you? Yeah, she gave it. I wish she got it. I, I, get, I went I kind of home. I, I oh, so it. this isn't one that you had that you used. No, yeah, this, this one, this one. Well, I don't know where they got it. Boy, honey, I've been right post station man. I could have got the most. I got some artifacts that are pertaining to that, their uh, beach cart drill. I got one of them costume holder where really. these surfing used to walk the beach and see Rick's, put it in on it, fly it. Mm-hmm, the co- I, I got one of them. Now that's the costume flare. That was the kind that you, you had you, the holder. You hit the bottom of it. Yeah, it got a little. It, it's a wooden handle. Yeah, it got a shaft through it. Yeah, a spring loaded. Mm-hmm. And and the front is a little the the, the candle thing or the shell about yay long, but it's big. And you put it in. I had and you put it in, and you twist and lock it. Mm-hmm. And then then you you hit it on the bottom. Mm-hmm. It, it like like a bang. If you see a ship, say, that's right. telling them we see you. Right. Yeah. And right. sometimes they had a red one. If you see a ship running kind of close to in, they put down and get it away and get the man. He could turn out. A warning. Just yeah, a warning. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, better, yeah. better move offshore a little bit. I got one in home there. Oh, well, that's got cool. A, I got one in my level, a combination level. I used one of the Lyle gun to get your elevation in. Right. Right. Oh, wonderful. That thing yeah. was made in, made in 1840. <laughs> Did you know what I had on there up there? In 1942, old man Roosevelt, president, he sent every one of these servicemen a little pocket testament, and he signed them. Really, a and pocket testament. I had testament. one downstairs. Now, you think somebody didn't steal it? Oh no! I had. I, I already known if if well, who signed it. 
I had it since 1942, and I had laid out. And what he do? Somebody put a replacement there, so when the, and when they look, I said, it's not what. And they were. He sang them before. There's a faint. There's a man in the back of my mind, and I believe got there, but I can't prove it. Well, because I come in there one day, and he's over my, and I'm surfing pins. And he had two couple of them surfing pins. I said, where in the world you get it? He said, I found a way you're in Gloucester there. Hmm. Scratching around a, a Gloucester of all person, hmm. find a surfing pin. Mm-hmm. And they're old in it. Hmm. And I was telling him, and he said he collected stuff. He liked to collect stuff. He came around right, he lived up here around Gale Creek. Mm-hmm. But you can't find it. I know. Find That's common. He had he, he made a little comment there, put it up right, right recommended everybody oh, and signed his name on it. I kept it there and he said, I can't ever chase him. That's bad. That's bad. Well but, well let me just ask you one final question and then we'll we'll uh, I don't know what time it is, but I'm sure it, I'm sure it's getting kinda late, but um <clears throat> Yes, only twenty after twelve. Twenty after twelve? That's right. <laughs> it is getting late. Um, in all your living on Harker's Island, what what has been the the biggest changes, good and bad, that you've seen? Well, honey, like I said, we all rode rough. I had it hard. Had it hard. And the war come. At the expense of war, same like thing. Uh, we we got known people coming in here, soldiers and murder marines, all everything. That bridge and tried to try to put outside world. Mm-hmm. And things began to bit a little better, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But before uh, uh, the war, and there weren't no bridge. Where's isolated over here? Mm-hmm. People didn't know about where was at. Mm-hmm. But that, it, it made a big difference. The war. The war was and, a big and, change. And, and we got, but other, uh, for instance, if I went to Raleigh and I was 10 years old, and somebody would say, Ben, where, 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 where you come from? Well, I come down Harker's Island. Harker's Island? I wonder where's that at, man? I sit down on the coast over there. Oh, I'm down the end of the world. Yeah, yeah. Well, now everybody knows how to I met a down a woman one night. I used to, I was sitting my display there. And I said, Later, where you part of the you come from? I come Massachusetts. I said, how do you know about Hart Park? All we know about Hart Park, our internet, everybody knows. Everybody, <laughs> everybody knows Hart Park. Well, now, so, so, so World War II kind of put you on the map, in your opinion. Well, more or less. Yeah. And, and, and what did you think about the Park Service coming? Park Service, uh, well, it got some advantage, it got some disadvantage as far as local concern. Mm-hmm. Now the first crowd to come down here, they were a bunch of warlords. Mm-hmm. They, they, they went. If they played the cards right, none of them people say they had their little shacks on there. They couldn't take vacation go to the mountains, mm-hmm. but they let go to a little house and all the children and they enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And they could took them some cabin and let them and let them be. With some, I mean, you think we be responsible for it. Or even at least them out for twenty five dollars a year, but they went on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't sell horses. Now Vogel, I the man would come before him. Vogel come. He 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 was a reasonable man. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Vogel was was I've reasonable. Been, honey, I was on there when I was a little boy. My place called Bell Island. I used to go there to the cemetery. My father. I went to my father one time, and I went to a cemetery. He knew where to go. Called Royal Cemetery. Mm-hmm. And there was a, see, then everybody was put in a box. That was a lot in the box, and, and there was some place, see the women's hair in the sand. Mm-hmm. It's still there, the remain. Sand, kind of blowed up from mm-hmm. I, I seen that myself. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Is, and, and is that, uh, is that cemetery gone now, or? 
Is that the is that the one that's in the woods there, about center part of the no, island? No, no, that one, that, one, that, that one, that west in the island, west boat. That's where I still up there. Mm. That's the Valley Point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what it's called, Joe Lewis Cemetery. Mm-hmm. This one I'm talking about is down east here, what we call it, in this Diamond City area. The they used to call it Diamond City Cemetery. The old time they used to call it Royal. Royal. They used to call it called Royal. Royal. Royal, Royal uh-huh, Cemetery. Uh-huh. And I've been there. It's a bell time. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I think Nettie Merle was from Nettie Guthrie was from Bell's Island. Her people were from Bell's Island. Yeah, they said that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I remember they were there. I've been there. I've seen her. Yeah, did you want, I know you had, you did a, um, a tape, uh, a videotape about whaling over on Shackleford. Is there anything you want to say about whaling over well, there? I, I, I not too much. See, that whaling went out before I come along, but occasionally, uh, uh, down in the late uh, 1800s, when that was a uh, full swing, that was a big business for a while. Right. Yeah. Now, then Cape Lookout itself, right there where that Coast Guard dock is, that's a cement dock. Mm hmm. My father had a fish camp there. Mm. And there wasn't no drain open up there. You went to Bover, uh, you went to you went out of Bover Dale and you went down the beach seven months. And I remember one summer, it was in the summer, I, probably on Monday when I took we killed her and took a boat and took a little skiff with a net on it. We went out of Bover Dale and went, went down to camp there and had a little built in bunks in there. And old, old orange stuff, mud to the kicking. You talk about a vacation. But you could get out, you could get out of that camp and down. Let me see, let me see. Now, this, there was a camp right here. Let me get my bag. Okay, this is the hook of the cat right here. So here's the lighthouse. Here's the lighthouse right here. Yeah, that's where you're supposed to look at it. Yeah. Hey, there's, there's a Coast Guard station there. And then down, right along in, where's that there? Coca-Cola. Is that, is that it right there? The Coca-Cola house? Well, but now with the big one, we got the model down there. Yeah, let's see. Here's, here's the, uh, here's the legend of the number, so. And when I got down there on the, on the table there, a big white house, right? Is that it right there? No, well, that, that's the... No, no, yeah, over here, here we are. There, that's here, the there. Coast Guard dock. Yeah, there. Coast Guard dock. Probably camera right there. Mm-hmm. And you, and you see On that... On the east side that, of that. See, see that number right there? See that shoulder right there? Mm-hmm. I see that shoal. Uh-huh. Yeah. That went out there a little ways and turned about right in there. See? Excuse me. Ooh, bless you. Me. And you go right straight down to the breakwater. Mm-hmm. And now it's just like that. Mm-hmm. Scooped out. Yeah. But that was a greater vacation. <laughs> yeah. Walked on that pretty sand. But that there was what I call Catfish Point. And that there was a uh, wreck point. But that point was over here. It, it wasn't that fight. It, it went out here like here. And coming here and turned right up. It was going to break water. Right? Wreck Point. That's what I was talking about, that boat, that they, uh, they got down there, artifacts on it. What's her name? Uh, uh, on the wall down there. Uh, it got the anchor off and all that mess. Oh, yes, yeah. She, 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 she said they went, she said, my, she said, 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 she was like that. 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 Yeah. But you don't argue with him. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Uh, and, well, and, look, but I, there's, there's a fish camp on down there. One on the other side. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 And that beach, see, that beach there, we turn around and run on up here in the other. Yes, sir. Boy, I tell you what. If in if in, if in somebody does something, he's going to man the tide. That lighthouse is going to tumble in the ocean. That's eating away. Eating away. This way. You know what I mean? Erosion. Well, I want to thank you for coming today. 
I didn't mean. Money. And uh, I'm thank you for letting me go to your house and take you want to call it right now? Yeah, if if it's okay with you. Yeah. If you got time. Are you eating a thing? No, sir. No, hey. you want want to go get a bite to eat and then we'll go. Well, good. Let me ask. Let me. Let me go, go start with talking to the fish and get her a snack. Okay. I'll pay for it. I want to preach you out anyway. I'll pay.